Welcome. I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And uh, we have an unboxing. I have a lot of unboxings coming. Can I tell you? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this would be eight. And I think I think I have one or two decks coming this week. And I have no clue what this even is. Um, so we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do a bunch of unboxings in a row. Wait, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I say eight? Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Some, I have two huge boxes. Um, and I also have a, um, review of a fabulous deck coming up very, very soon. Um, still Jersey Devil. We still have the meditation video. And, uh, some user requested videos and, um, a couple deep dives. So we have a lot coming up and I am determined to knock a great many of them out today. So, um, oh, I do know what this is. So this is a Kickstarter. Um, it's the Cheeky Tarot. Now this is by... The fabulous creator of the White Fly Tarot and the Blue Dragonfly Oracle. So this is Danilo Sinino. This is the latest deck. Um, who, by the way, um, um, I can't think of the word. Oh no, I broke my thing. Uh, I'm so sorry. He, it's super early in the morning. Um, I know I'm either like really late or early, huh? Uh, but anyway, yeah, he, uh, his, his Kickstarters always, um, show up quickly, you know? Um, which is nice. So, and he's got such a oh! unique style which um is very very different in this deck as you will see but it's so it's just so um cute and funny and i just you know okay so <laughs> look at that dog he's so stinking cute um so yeah here's his etsy shop it's white fly tarot instagram and, uh, yeah. So, let's take a look. I love this. Oh, I love this box. It's just pretty. Good size, nice and sturdy. Everything you want in a box. Everything I want, anyway. Okay, so these are the backs, which are super pretty. And the cards. Now let's do a quick look. Uh, dead on standard tarot size. Um, now this is, as as you can probably tell already, very very RWS, but so cute. So there's just uh, such a delightful charm with this stack. The cards feel nice. They're very uh, papery in a really nice way. We'll see how they shuffle. But they feel nice. You know, very organic feeling. Love this. So, and, uh, at the end, now there, there was no guidebook. I don't know if there's, I mean, it's RWS, right? Um, I don't think there's a PDF or anything, but maybe. Um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll shuffle them so you can see how they shuffle. And then, uh, 
I'll lay them out so you can see how they might look in a reading. But then also, I'll pair them with his other decks just to kind of see how they might look together. I love the hair. <laughs> just the expressions on the faces is fabulous. That's a super cute lion. But yeah, so I don't think there's going to be anything like earth shattering in terms of like different, you know, because again, RWS, but, um, you know, the art style is, is so distinctive and unique. <laughs> Love the watch. That's fabulous. I really, really like that. Um, yeah. Oh, I look. See, there are there are unique things that are just super fabulous in this deck. Um, yeah, that's fabulous. Oh, it's getting hot. Goodness. So it's been like in the 90s. And uh, I turned my air off because it's early in the morning. I thought I could manage without it. Um, to, you know, keep it a little more quiet. But I have a feeling after this video, it's got to go back on. Because I'm already feeling it. And I just turned it off. Oh, what a beautiful moon. I love the faces. Oh, man. Okay, so we have the... Normally what I would call the creepy baby. But this one's actually cute. And I love the sun. I love the face and the horse. I just love... I just love his heart. Oh, that's a little creepy, but awesome. Yeah, this is certainly a very approachable deck, you know, because all of the characters are, you know, very just charming and cute, you know what I mean? So this is a great deck for somebody who's nervous about tarot, you know, maybe they're not sure and, you know, to them they equate it with, you know, dark, scary stuff. Um, this would be a great deck to use for someone like that because it's so light, you know, it, it's not like a heavy deck. Um, and I love heavy decks, but I love lightness too. Yeah, I love everything. Um, but yeah, it feels very approachable. This would be a great deck for a new reader because it's still very RWS, but... You know, if you don't, if you're not super keen on Pixie's artwork, I know some people love it. I'm not one of those people. It's it's just not my style, you know. Um, so if you know somebody like that, this could be a great deck for them because you still have <clears throat> the situations and and the symbols and the imagery, but just in a different art style. And again, very approachable. You know, there's nothing scary about this deck. It's light and bright. So stinking cute. I mean, that's really perfect for the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, you see a slime trail. I mean, a lot of thought really went into this, I think. Um, maybe more than I really would have expected. You know, I don't I don't look too hard at 
images of decks when I back them on Kickstarter. Unless I'm, you know, on the fence or something, then I might look more. But <clears throat> pretty much I'm going to back, um, you know, probably any deck he does anyway. Um, I don't know why he's barking. But, uh, you know, and I, I saw a glimpse of some of the cards, and I was like, oh, that's super cute. I gotta get it. So I didn't, uh, you know, see all the images. You know, I just, I didn't want to, right? And that's pretty standard for me. I love that. That's fabulous. I love tipping his hat. Yeah, as much as... As much as... Um, you know, I guess this is definitely uh, like an RWS clone. I think it really brings so much more along with it and there's so much unique thought <laughs> I love that that went into it oh my god those pajamas oh maybe not but they remind me of like the onesie pajamas for kids so cute I mean it's just it's so charming Love this too. We have the one kind of bolted down. He's got the other one. <laughs> the ladybug. I mean, they're a fabulous little thing, and I'm sure I'm missing a lot because you know this is my first time just flipping through. Um, But there are some really <laughs> fabulous, unique additions um, to this deck that, oh my goodness, look at that. That's so stinking cute. See, usually I don't like just the, you know, eight wands flying through the air, but this is just so cute. I love it. I love how you put the symbols on the clothes. <sighs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> love that. So again, very standard symbol, right? But the cloud just like makes this card. Oh, I love that we have the amethyst there. And the cobwebs. Really, really nice. That's amazing. It's so funny. I 
Oh no. <laughs> Oh, look at that knight. He's fabulous. Again, the details on, on the clothing and just really wonderful. Oh, okay. So let's give this a shuffle. And then we'll lay him out. Oh, and I mean just beautifully. Beautifully. Yeah. Really, really nice. Really nice to shuffle. They feel really nice in the hand. Um... I mean, just easy, easy, easy. So now they, you know, this is a, a beautifully matte um, cardstock, so they're not gonna move like a glossy deck, but they're not sticky either. You know what I mean? And I definitely think that with use, they're gonna move more easily. But look how pretty. So let's lay some out, and then I'll. Go ahead and, and open up his other decks. Oh, I don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> Just to see how they might look together. You know, if you have um, any of the other decks. Or if you don't, I do believe they are all available. I think in his Etsy shop, which I will link in the description. I mean, it's just so cute. I love the colors. I love the the whimsy and the charm. And I love those additional details um, that I think are really, really thoughtful and and clever and nice. It's really, really cute. And it feels very much its own thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like sometimes you get an RWS clone and it just sort of feels like an RWS clone. This deck feels like its own thing. At least to me. Um, which I think is fabulous. Alright, so let's take a quick look just to see how this might be with... Um, Let's do the White Fly Terror first. So now this art style in, in this deck is very different from um, this. Or at least, you know, well, so these are the backs, which actually I quite like together. Really pretty. Now this cardstock is very different. I love this cardstock. I have no clue what it is. Um, but it's super fabulous. Um, so it's very, you know, as you can see, it's very different, right? Um, oh, let me add. Let's do it this one, maybe. So it's like this one's a little more, I'd say serious, but you know what I mean? Um, but I actually like that sort of contrast, and I feel like there's still, <laughs> there's still uh, that lovely humor and cleverness. So I like these together. It's not, is it my favorite pairing? Probably not, but I do like them. But let's see what the Oracle. 
and see how that looks. Helps me put the decks in right side up. Okay. So again, this one's the the blue dragonfly oracle, and this is so pretty. Um, so this one is again a, a different card stock from both of the other decks. So see the backs, which actually look really nice together too, and move these over. over a little more. Okay. I just love that. Ah, oh, how fabulous is this? We have that fear and the end, and I'm at peace. It's right, such a nice change. <sighs> the cat's made a noise. Oh no, stuff's falling. It's a ruckus here. Huh? That's kind of me. A little bit sometimes. Um, yeah, I like these together. Again, very, very different <laughs> um, styles. But <clears throat> I do feel like there's that, you know, you can still feel that it's by the same creator. I love that one too. That's a great way to be. And this, oh my god, I love that. Um, yeah, I really like these together. I love that. So he makes uh, shirts too. And I have a beautiful Ganesh shirt that he made that I adore. So, and the shirts are great quality too. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I just, I think this is so, so lovely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, super, super duper cute. This would be great for like a younger reader starting out. Um, or, yeah, if you, if you have like a, um, like a, you know, a, a younger child or friend or whatever interested in tarot, I think this would be fabulous. Because I think that they'll get the humor. Not that an adult wouldn't either, but you know what I'm saying? I think they'll like it. Um, <clears throat> I like it. <laughs> so, anyway... I'm definitely turning the air on because I'm getting a little too hot. But until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really, really wonderful because you deserve the best, only the best, all the best. And that is my wish for you. <laughs>